So today let's talk about why someone would have excessively dry hair or the hair is too greasy or too oily. And you can also apply this to your skin as well. Um, there's a gland in your skin and in the scalp called the sebaceous gland. And this gland is responsible for releasing an oil called sebum. And the purpose of that is to help lubricate and protect the surface of your body. And in the sebum, you have all these different types of fats and lipids and triglyceride and cholesterol and even vitamins and phytonutrients. Now, let's start with uh, if it's too dry. So this usually relates to a deficiency in some of the fat-soluble vitamins, specifically vitamin A. Vitamin A actually helps regulate this gland. Vitamin D is also involved, and vitamin E is also involved. And realize it could be that you're consuming these vitamins, but you don't have a gallbladder anymore, or you don't have enough bile, or your liver is uh, fatty, or it has a problem releasing bile, and so you're not able to absorb these nutrients. That's a common problem that a lot of people have. One of the best remedies to give you a 50-50 split of both vitamin A and vitamin D is cod liver oil. I would definitely go with a high-end, high-quality cod liver oil. It's called virgin cod liver oil. Um, I don't have a brand. You can look them up, look at the reviews, but this could help you as well. If you're missing a gallbladder or deficient in bile, um, you can take purified bile salts. I put a link down below for more information on that because that'll actually help you absorb these nutrients. The other vitamin is low vitamin E, and you can get that from leafy greens, okay? Or nuts or seeds, but I recommend the leafy greens. So we have the vitamin E, you get the vitamin A, you get the vitamin D, and that can actually greatly help your skin. And there's other things that can also interfere with your absorption. If, if you drink too much alcohol, if you have insulin resistance because you're a diabetic or a pre-diabetic. So there's many other things, but those are the main nutrients involved in dry uh, hair and skin. Now, if it's too oily, okay, that can be low zinc. And zinc is probably one of the most important uh, trace minerals around because it's involved in so many different uh, chemical reactions in the body. Um, and 2.2 billion people on this planet are deficient in zinc. So this is a very common deficiency. So if you're low in zinc, um, what happens is the body starts producing excessive amounts of oil. Also, zinc helps to decrease your androgens and DHT, which is a very powerful type of testosterone, which can then also make this gland get bigger and produce more oil. And one of the other causes, in addition to a deficiency of zinc is high levels of insulin. That can also spike your androgens. And this is why people that have polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, uh, have excessive oily skin and acne because of the high androgens, which is coming from the high insulin. So of course, you would want to get on healthy keto and intermittent fasting. Most of you know about that. Those of you that don't, click down below and download the sheet so you can actually get on that diet because just by cleaning up the diet and getting this lowered, this will fall back into place really nicely. The other thing you need to look at is what would create a zinc deficiency. A lot of things can create a zinc deficiency. One is you're consuming too many um, grains. Bran or the fiber in grains has something called phytic acid which will block the absorption of zinc. Also, if you have a history of antibiotics or eating a lot of refined carbohydrates that destroyed your colon or we have IBS or celiac or any type of digestive problem that can block the absorption of zinc. Also, if you had gastric bypass, um, you, you have a difficult time absorbing zinc. Uh, if you had a history of a lot of alcohol, that can deplete your zinc. Uh, diarrhea will deplete zinc and a lot of other electrolytes as well. Also, if you have low hydrochloric acid, which a lot of people have, um, and they don't know it, you're not going to be able to absorb zinc and other minerals. One way that you would know that you're deficient in hydrochloric acid is that you have acid reflux or you have heartburn. So by taking apple cider vinegar and something called betaine hydrochloride, you can actually increase this, this uh, trace mineral. Some of the foods that are high in zinc are seafood like oysters, red meat, um, liver, uh, beef liver, for example, 
uh, would, would be higher in zinc. Anyway, I wanted to explain the two different situations that can happen if you're deficient in certain types of nutrients. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.